Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Every time I pick up this camera, I realize that the battery's dying and I forgot to change it. We had a time last night. Mimi and I are here. Oh, she's wearing pants today. Are they not so cute and so tiny? We are si oh, also her dad, her dad and I gave her a shower and washed her hair. So it's like thriving right now. Her little curls are popping a little bit because we put some product. But um, we had a time last night and here's why. We had to take Mia to the emergency room. Our day definitely took a turn. We're in the emergency room with Mia. It is currently 11.56 p.m., almost midnight. But she's gassy and I think she's constipated, so I just brought her because she doesn't cry like that and she was crying profusely. She wasn't eating, she wasn't sleeping, she wasn't pooping, still not pooping just ate when we came here just slept in the car to come here but outside of that she was crying and i'm not a first time mom even though i feel like i am because everything has changed so much in the last 13 years but we um we were here at home and i noticed that the enfamil that i was giving her was making her very gassy and she would grunt so much like her stomach is hurting whenever she eats so i was watching it for a while and then i put it in on tiktok and people were like oh no you know baby th the babies are naturally noisy and so they make a lot of noise and them grunting in their sleep is normal right and i think i had asked the pediatrician at one point oh how is the grunting and he's like if she's not grunting every breath then you know the grunting is okay i didn't know if she was she's not she wasn't grunting every breath but like after the meals and stuff like that you know and in her sleep specifically she would grunt right a lot so he was like oh i'm not really concerned if it's not like every breath or something along those lines so i thought it was okay until her godmom came and looked for her the other day and she was like you know i think she's gassy the way how she's grunting and stuff i think she's gassy and how she's like curling up her legs almost curling herself into a ball i think she's gassy so I'm like, oh my goodness, my first instinct was right that she may have been gassy from the formula. And also she was spitting up because she was a smaller baby. They said that sometimes when the babies are smaller, their stomach does not really know how to process the, the regular um, formulas. And so you'd give them the gentle ease because the properties in it are like broken down a little bit. Something along those lines where it's easier for their bodies to absorb it, right? And so I had a sample of the gentle ease. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just give it to her and I did tell you guys that I ended up changing it I, ch I the first bottle that I gave her was like 5 a.m. two days ago and um, I was giving it to her throughout the day and I was also giving her the boob alternately so a bottle of the boob a bottle of the boob somewhere along those lines right I think because I didn't give her any time in between because I've I changed her before from Cinelac to to Enfamil initially but when I did that change I had waited about a week before I gave it to her so I stopped giving her the Similac um, and in seven days I started giving her the Enfamil and so I feel like that's why when I did that she didn't really have a reaction I can't remember if she was grunting when I gave when she was on the Similac I cannot remember I really can't remember so I said you know what I have the gentle ease I'm gonna just give her that so I changed it and then you know at like 6 p.m. yesterday evening I realized that she's like she just started crying so i'm like okay maybe she needs a little extra attention so let me just give her a little bit of loving try to soothe her as best as i can and like see how that works nothing was soothing her i'm like okay maybe it's the witching hour nothing was soothing her this is 9 p.m at this point and i'm just like oh my goodness this is not normal because it's one thing about mia she does not cry like that she will chill with you you see how she's just here laying down right now i mean now she has her passy in but even if she doesn't have her passy in she will just be there chilling with you no problem she's not crying nothing she is a chill girl love her for that the universe knows that i needed her so um her being so chill and just hearing her go from this to crying profusely i'm just like something is wrong and i know that the only thing that i changed was the formula so i'm like is it the formula that i gave her it has to be the formula because that's the only thing that i changed i was doing the little bicycle with her legs everything that i know to see if i can help relieve the gas she was passing gas but she was not pooping and i'm like okay it's been more than 12 hours at this point that she has not pooped 
I'm concerned. I'm thinking she's constipated. I don't know what to do. I can't soothe her. She's crying this entire time. She's not taking the boobs. So she hasn't eaten like a full three ounce bottle since like 6 15 p.m we can't continue like this when we got to the emergency room she um she fell asleep in the car all right this was the first she slept to since six the other i mean she slept but like for 10 minutes woke up crying five minutes woke up crying all of that right can't put her down and even if you're holding her up she's still crying so we got to the emergency room and she was sleeping in the car seat and then she woke up and started crying so i'm like you know what let me try and give her some boob because she must be hungry at this point so i was giving her the boob and she took it for a good like 10 minutes right the flow is heavy so i think she got like a good bit in the 10 minutes so i gave her she took it that was the first time she ate in like a few hours right because the other times i tried giving her the boob and she put it in her mouth but she's not latching or anything she's just crying nothing can stop her and then um after they they got done what do you call that triaging us and we went into like the waiting area to see the doctor I gave her the boob again and she took it and she was sleeping for a few minutes again so the doctor came in and I told her my concerns and everything and she was like you know I don't think she's constipated I think it's a change in the formula and um just the fact that you know it's new to her system and like her little system is trying to figure out how to process it and that's two different formulas within a few hours and so you know that's basically what's going on so she did a little rectal exam and oh my gosh I I almost pooped myself seeing that okay and afterwards she was able to go and she was like you know she's fine they discharged us we came home this morning she had a bowel movement just fine and now we're here but it was such a crazy night because I'm here trying to figure out do I want to take her or not is it gonna be a waste of time because what are they gonna be able to do for her but the nurse in the emergency room also told me she said normally if it is that they are constipated they have a little cream that they will put in there and they will be able to go and that gave me some relief when I heard that because I'm like listen at least if she is constipated they have something that they can give her because I've been constipated before no fun absolutely no fun and so um you know we came home and she slept nicely I fed her she slept nicely it was just she was having a bad couple of hours where it looks like it was trying to work its way through her little intestines and out and I really freaked out but I'm like I'm not I'd rather go there and let them tell me listen baby is okay than sit here with her and she's not okay so even though it sounded so dramatic I'm like listen I should take her so because of last night's experience we've really just been chilling all day giving her some extra loving you know spending time with her <laughs> like mash up from last night okay mash right up <laughs> mash up like mashed potatoes i was going through it last night so now she's here she's awake i'm waiting for i'm waiting to give her a little bit of food but she's just here chilling for the meantime with her passy in her mouth so that's the night i have leading into it like we got there at like 11 20 and we didn't leave until like sometime after 2 a.m because when we got home and i cleaned her up and everything to put her to bed it was like after it was like 3 45 a.m and i'm like oh my goodness it's 4 a.m like what am i doing here so um that's really the day we had so we slept in a little bit of course mainly because of that and then like we've just been lounging around the apartment to be honest you know i emptied the bag because i panicked and packed so many things in there because i'm like i don't know how long we're gonna be in the emergency room for charger snacks everything and then um she's just here looking up at me i wonder if she thinks i'm reading a book because the consistent talking is um indicative of like reading like when i sit and i read to her she really likes that Maybe she thinks i'm telling a story who knows but um yeah that's that's really the day that we've been having um so like i said we gave her a load of bath um earlier because i'm like a load of shower you know her dad was in and i said you know let's just wash her off and so we washed her off and i put some some hair oil in her hair and like gave her a little side butt that's so listen that's so cute I think she's sick of me and the hairstyles and everything but um i wanted to just wash the hospital off of her even though last night i did um i did wipe her down and everything but i just felt like listen i want to wash her off to wash all of the germs that i may have exposed her to going in the emergency room a damn crazy lady was sitting there oh it's always so much going on in the emergency room somebody was in handcuffs it's crackheads and drug dealers <laughs> gangbangers okay too much was going on in the emergency room i'll tell you that so i'm glad that we they put us in a room um to ourselves and i was very grateful for that so that way we weren't in gen pop with the baby like that would have been insane so we're just here chilling winding down you know i'm gonna give her a little bottle right now it's 8 16 p.m i'm gonna give her a little bottle spend a little time with her put her to sleep and back in the room she goes 
and um i think she might wake up for one more feed of the night and then another one early in the morning tomorrow morning because that's how it's been going so far but um yeah very grateful that she's on like a decent load of sleep schedule too where i know that she's gonna wake up at this time and it works like that like clockwork of course except for last night so um, we're gonna do that we have a nice warm bottle here waiting for her it's a little too warm i put it in the bottle warmer but i forgot it in there so it's a little too warm so we're waiting for her to cool down naturally she's not crying she's chilling so we're just working off of her time right now and giving her a little extra loving i love her so much but i was stressed out last night you guys stressed right out the girls stressed me out but yeah we're gonna watch some tv and stuff and we'll see you guys later okay okay she's ready for her food bye bye